This is the Drill Sergeant with another nugget of gold for fiery trials. Creating jewels for the kingdom of God. Today I share with you a heart of perfect love. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. 1 John 4, 18 Are you afraid today, my friend? The world seems to be very afraid. But the Lord wants you to focus on Him. Don't be afraid. He sees and He knows what is coming upon mankind. And your Father loves you. And He is there to protect you. He says, My divine love will overcome your fears. And you will walk in my light because I am the light of the world. Through your faith and trust in me, you will have my power to overcome all things. My grace is sufficient to supply your every need as you walk with me. Many battles for the rulership of the world and the souls of men are ahead of you. These are the battles of the end of this age. But you will overcome as I overcame the world and am seated at the right hand of the Father. We will subdue Satan together and destroy his works. Drill sword, yeah. We will subdue Satan together and destroy his works. You will rule and reign with me. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Over such the second day death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Revelation 20 and 6. You cannot control the world, not even yourself. Prepared comfort zone. My love will sustain you through the darkest nights and through circumstances that are impossible for you to control. You cannot control the world, not even your self-prepared comfort zone. The world around you is set on a path of destruction because of sin. Why do you cry about your affliction? Your sorrow is incurable. Because of the multitude of your iniquities, because your sins have increased, I have allowed these things to happen to you. That's Jeremiah 30, 15. I am in charge, and you are my children and heirs with me of all my possessions. Satan is preparing to celebrate your demise, but my plans and power far exceed his. I came to seek and save that which is lost, and not one of my chosen will be lost or left behind. Only your will and choice to serve another God can stand in my way. Your choice to be saved by my spirit is greater than Satan's power to destroy you. Do you realize how much I love you? And the extreme price I paid for your nun for your sonship? Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down his life for his friend. John 15, 13 Your number one possession is your soul. Will you dedicate your life to me or to my sworn enemy and yours? My children, rise up and become the enemy of sin and Satan and dedicate your life wholly unto me. Become a child of God who is dedicated to my plans and purposes 
come and live under my divine protection and blessings. Drill Sergeant, come and live under my divine protection and blessings. I will forgive your trespasses, seal you, and fill you with my spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me or you free from the law of sin and death. Romans 8 and 2 As long as you remain in Satan's kingdom, you walk in darkness. I present to you an unbreakable and unadulterable truth. For to be carnally, which means fleshly minded, is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, which means it has the quality of being an enemy. For it is not subject to the law of God, nor can it be. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Romans 8, 6 through 8. My great love for you gives you the final choice of where you want to spend eternity and who will be the Lord of your life. Your earthly time is fleeting and your choice determines life or death. Choose God and you choose abundant life. Choose Satan and you walk in death and darkness for all eternity. My word is alive, all powerful, and never returns empty or void. I say to you, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Are you in trouble today? The Lord says, I will be with you in trouble. I will deliver you and honor you with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalms 91, 14 through 16. My children, no evil circumstance, no army of demons, nothing can separate you from me or from my love. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril, or sword, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 8, 35 and 37. Only God can use evil for good. I am in charge and know of every cataclysmic event and every evil work Satan has assigned against you. I determine whether Satan will be allowed to work his evil or if for the sake for my children I will use his evil for good. Drill Sergeant. I will use his evil for good. I alone can turn the curses of Satan into blessings. I always work everything for the good of my children, especially those who love me and walk according to my purposes for them. Sometimes it is best for my children to experience the effect of evil so that they understand that evil can work only evil 
Only God can use evil for good. This is my promise to my children. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 All of Satan's arrows and works directed at my children must be okayed by me. The only exception to that rule is the rule of sowing and reaping. I'm going to say that again. The only exception to that rule is the rule of sowing and reaping. If my children dabble in sin, they will from sin reap corruption. If Satan's works are not brought on by the sin of my children, I will make his works against my beloved work together for their good and in the end be a blessing. Many are asleep or so blinded by sin that they are not learning from the reaping of their sins. My children, you are about to embark on a new walk with me. I have long suffering and I am kind so that the goodness of God might lead you to repentance. Some of you have not returned my love nor appreciated my long suffering. Those who are deaf and refuse to hear my will now experience my in your face application of my love and truth. Time is short and many of you are weighed in the balances. Takel says, You have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. Daniel 5, 27 You are neither hot nor cold. Shall I spew you out of my mouth? Take my word soberly and think of your life without my presence and my eternal love guarding your soul against the evil one. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth, which means I will vomit you out of my mouth. Revelation 3.16 Sin has become the normal way of life. Many are asleep or so blinded by sin that they are not learning through the reaping of their sins. You make excuses for yourselves because sin is the way of the world. Drill sword, yeah. Sin is the way of the world. And you say, everyone sins. Enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate. And broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there, there are many who go in by it because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life and there are few who find it Matthew 7 13 through 14 it is time for you to choose your gate and path to life which way will you choose broad or narrow I have said to you therefore come out from among them And be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. 2 Corinthians 6 and 7 Sin has so multiplied among you that you are not getting the spiritual lessons I am teaching you. From henceforth, which means from now and forward, your conviction of sins against me will come in such power that you will no longer be able to turn aside and say everyone is doing it. You will face your transgression against me face to face and spirit to spirit. My spirit of conviction of sin 
will be so great you cannot run from it. The power and works of my spirit are going to be multiplied threefold. The old gentle ways of teaching the truth about sin have passed away, and now the new begins. The rules of morality are now based upon the sin and corruption being promoted by Satan to steal your soul. Satan is trying to steal your soul. My rules will be based on the righteousness and holiness required in my kingdom. I shall bring about change for the good of my people by using the suffering caused by evil to bring my children to the choice of good. There are lessons to be learned. The best example of the lessons you must learn are those you will face in your own life. The hour of winking at sin is past. Be prepared for my soon appearing. The bride of Christ must make herself ready for the becoming of the bridegroom. You must decide to die to the dictates of your desires. Die to the dictates of your desires and follow instead the Spirit of God. Let my spirit be Lord of your life. Let my spirit be Lord of your life and teach you to live in holiness. Old things will pass away and behold all things will become new. You will be reborn into the righteousness of Christ and live for him as he lives within you. Oh, the glory of it all. Hallelujah. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin. Likewise, you also reckon yourself to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in its lust. And do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourselves to God as being alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness to God. Romans 6, 6 through 13. My children, it is time to put on the garments of righteousness for your king is coming. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see revelations 3:18 my prayer dear father and jesus my lord and savior i bow myself before you we are living in the last days before the catching away of your children to be ever with you. What a glorious day that will be. I know it is time to make sure that you are my first and greatest love. I want no other gods before you. I must be ready and have the lamp of your spirit, a flame within me. I must have my own temple of the Holy Ghost filled with your righteousness so I can finish your work on earth. How can I bring down Satan's kingdom on earth and destroy evil if I have not removed all the sin from my own life? I can only prove my love for you when I obey you and keep your commands. Keep me from all sin and fill me to overflowing with your Holy Spirit. I want to be on fire for you, O oh Lord. Show me my secret sins and attitudes that do not glorify you. Make me into your image. Make my love perfect so I can love as you love me. May I hate sin and destroy its works, but love the sinner and cherish his soul for your kingdom. I stand in faith and trust in you. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I love you now and forever. Help me to do a perfect work on earth for your glory. 
And Father, I thank you for this day I've never seen before. I thank you that your work is working in me as never before. I thank you that forgiveness is working in me. Father, I forgive everyone that has offended me. Father, I forgive every evil word that's been said against me. Father, help restore my mind. Help me to forget the things that have been done to me so that I may serve you with fullness and with gladness. And Father, I thank you that this is the day that you have made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I thank you that you are protecting me right now in your Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this has been another word from the Drill Sergeant, a heart of perfect love, creating jewels for the kingdom of God. The word of God says, when he comes to gather his jewels, they shall be mine. You belong to the Lord and you are a jewel. Today know that you are his jewel. God bless you. Have a great day.